नमस्ते आई एम मंजुला वेलकम टू माय किचन टुडे आई विल बी मेकिंग मुठियाज स्टीम्ड डम्पलिंग्स मेड विद कैबेज ग्राम फ्लावर एंड मिक्स ऑफ स्पाइसेस वेरी टेस्टी एंड हेल्दी ट्रीट मुठियाज कैन बी सर्व एज एन एपिटाइजर और स्नैक दिस रेसिपी विल सर्व Four. For this recipe, we need half medium size cabbage, which gives you about four cups of finely shredded cabbage, one cup of gram flour, besan, two tablespoon of whole wheat flour, about two tablespoon of uh, chopped green chili, two tablespoon of fenugreek leaves 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric 1 teaspoon of cumin seed 1 teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of sugar about 1/8 teaspoon of citric acid and 2 tablespoon of oil now for seasoning we need 1 tablespoon of oil Half a teaspoon of black mustard seed, one teaspoon of sesame seed, four whole red chilies, and about two tablespoon of finely chopped cilantro, hara dhania. To make muthiya, first we are going to mix all the ingredients together and make a very soft dough. The gram flour measurement, take it as a guideline. Sometimes you will need one spoon more or less. It depends how moist is your cabbage. Another thing, the fenugreek leaves. If you don't have fresh, you can substitute with dry leaves, which is also known as kasturi methi, or substitute that with the green cilantro, hara dhania. After we steam these dumplings to give the final touch. we will roast it with the spices i taste and smells just great so first we are going to put the cabbage in a bowl flour green chilies fenugreek leaves turmeric cumin seed salt that you can adjust to your taste sugar and citric acid and oil mix it together and now we are going to add the gram flour besan about half Okay, it's uh, coming together. We can use some more gram flour. Okay, so as you see, this is a very soft textured dough, but uh, it's uh, hard enough that it will hold together. Okay, heat is on on medium high, and I'm using the wide pan, uh, and I have put about half a inch of water. After water boils, uh, you put the vegetable steamer. I am just using the simple vegetable steamer, and I have greased it a little bit. So I am going to put uh, right in the pan. Take about two tablespoon of mixture and put right over it. And they should steam about eighteen to twenty minutes. and do grease the fingers before you start uh, taking these dough yeah i boiled the water on medium high 
and insert the vegetable steamer which I have already greased and put all the muthias over and I'm going to steam them for about 18 to 20 minutes and it should be covered and reduce the heat to low medium okay, this have been about 16 minutes so I will check if they are ready so we will use the fork to check it exactly the way you do the cake you put the and it should come out clean I think just uh, maybe another minute and this will be ready you can eat the muthias um, without uh, stir frying just you know when they are hot with a green chutney they still taste very good ok I will check it again it has been another 2 minutes yeah this is done so it took me about uh, 18 minutes uh, the time I steamed so I'm going to take them out from a steamer and let it cool off little bit and I'm going to slice them in two okay muthias have they have cooled off little bit and now I'm going to slice them in two pieces before I stir fry after you slice them you can uh, refrigerate them before stir frying for a week or freeze them for a couple of months the heat is on medium high going to add the oil and wait a little bit so oil is little hot going to add now some mustard seed after mustard seeds crack I am going to add the red chilies and uh, sesame seed the mustard seed as it start cracking it's time to add the chili and sesame seed and just stir for few seconds before we add mutias going to add the mixture ok this is one of my favorite snack can you smell the fenugreek it has a very sweet smell a sweet and bitter smell just fry these for about 2 to 3 minutes so this have been about 3 minutes if you want more golden brown you can uh, do one more minute of it is fine but uh, I just like the touch of the golden brown on it and they look really good usually uh, cilantro is uh, garnished uh, in the end after you have in the serving plate but I like to add it right in the pan uh, and after I close the heat so the skillet is still hot and just stir it and how nice they look they have Okay, and they are ready to serve. Okay, muthias are looking very yummy and uh, smelling good. This makes a great appetizer or it's one of my favorite snack. I'm going to serve this very cilantro chutney. I hope you will enjoy these muthias as much as I do. I will see you again with a new recipe. Thank you.